Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm starting a brand new question and answer series of videos where I take three to five minutes to answer one simple question. If you have a question, throw it in the comments and I might highlight it in my next question and answer video. Today's question is, why are my Venus flytraps turning red at the base of the leaf? Is this okay? And should I be worried? I've seen this question before and now many of my Venus flytraps are turning red at the base. I thought this was a perfect opportunity to answer this question and show some examples of what this looks like. Here's my Mr. Knightley, one of my favorite Venus flytraps right now. I just repotted it a couple weeks ago. I probably should have split it up a little bit better, but I just really love when this plant grows really big and thick. I also brought out my bristle tooth and seed grown so you can see some examples of what this looks like. The first two I'm going to show you are fine and in great shape. The last one at the end of the video is a little more cause for concern. Stick around to the end so you know what to look for. Have you ever let your hair grow out in the summer? After spending all that time in the sun, your skin starts to get darker. When you finally get your hair cut, you notice there's a lighter patch where your hair once was. This area of your skin might burn a little easier now that it's suddenly exposed to the sun. This is basically what's happening to the Venus flytraps. This happens often and usually occurs after repotting or during the transition from dormancy to full light or sun. This is basically a sun or grow light burn. When I repotted these a couple of weeks ago, the base of these leaves were white. The leaves had been under moss and not exposed to any light during the dormancy period. This left them a really white and pale color. I exposed the leaves when I repotted them due to not including the deeper moss. Right after repotting, I also upped their light from 4 hours a day to 7 hours a day as we're just in the start of the growing season. In my area, it's still hitting below freezing at nights and I can't quite expose them to the natural elements yet. So I up my grow light timer to help them be prepared for sun when I eventually move them out in April or May, depending on the weather. Here's my little grow light burn victim. This is a good example of sun or light burn. If you see your plant looking like this, it's time to dial the light or sun back. The edges of the leaves start to turn brown and it looks pretty fried. This is super common when people fail to acclimate their flytrap before putting them out in full sun or increasing the strength in their grow light. If they haven't been exposed to a sun or light for a while, then immediately get exposed to the sun or strong grow light, they take a couple of weeks to fully acclimate to the stronger light source. I move these from directly under the light to a little more on the outside of its direct range. If you notice burning like this, reduce the light or remove them from full sun. Allow them to acclimate a little more before allowing them to stay in full sun or full light. After a week or two, sometimes maybe three, of acclimating, they'll likely be ready to go. Acclimation is one of the most missed steps of caring for Venus flytraps. Whether it's a new plant or coming out of dormancy, oftentimes they have not been exposed to strong sun or strong grow lights. Most advice for Venus flytraps just says full sun without any nuance. Just saying full sun or strong grow light is bad advice for new growers. For acclimation, I recommend spending a week at two hours of full sun or full strong grow light a day. If no noticeable burning is occurring, up it to four hours the next week. Still no burning, up it to six or more the next week. Keep a close eye on the plant as you increase the light. If you notice burning, dial it back a bit for another few days before bumping it back up. This will help your plant become fully acclimated. The term for this is hardened off. This means the plant has been fully acclimated to the light source it's been exposed to. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified when my next Q&A video comes out. Sound off in the comments with what question you'd like answered next. I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.